people who are starting out don't understand something that it's not so much about the goals it's good to have a goal but it's more about the process so i got a question and that's why i'm sitting here with my smartphone that read hey tina what's the perfect practice plan yeah what's the perfect practice plan so I think that's a really tough question because in my opinion there's no perfect practice plan because everybody is an individual and everybody is at a different um, stage of development concerning guitar playing and everybody also has a different taste, listens to different music and wants to play different music. So I would rather say there is no perfect practice plan. So in the end, the best practice plan for you is what you want to do and learn and also what you can sustain for the longest time. Don't keep yourself from practicing because you don't have the perfect practice plan. So it's just like a big excuse, you know, you need to have the perfect practice plan. So there's only one way you can find the perfect practice plan and that's you start with one. <laughs> I always write down my practice plans, write it down just as it is and then start with it and if it doesn't work out after a time you make the next practice plan. Of course your plans are going to cha change anyways because you're learning material and then you have to learn new material but what I mean on the other hand it's not only that the content is changing but your way of practicing is changing as well. And practicing in, in itself is an art form. <laughs> Believe me, because it's really important how you practice. And it's, for example, very important that you practice in a way that you can focus and allow yourself, for example, to play slow. Everybody falls out of practice plans. It's so natural. I do it all the time, especially if the pressure is high, if things come up that are very important for me, like concerts I have to play. It gets sometimes harder for me to practice. And if you fall off the horse, everybody does this. Just get back on into the saddle and go back to playing the guitar. I will never forget when I started to play the guitar and I heard somebody play a walking bass with chords in between. I thought when when I'll be able to do that, I will be happy forever. And then after a half of a year, I could do that. I was very happy for one day or two days. And then I heard somebody play bossa nova on the guitar. And then I thought, oh man, if I could only play those beautiful chords and a bossa nova pattern. So after quite some while, I was able to do that as well. And then again, <laughs> I was, you know, like happy for two days or three days and then the next goal would be how to play Donna Lee, for example. And of course what I also thought, if I would only be able to play a, a certain thing in a certain tempo, the phone would, wouldn't stop ringing anymore and everybody would be calling me, uh, apart from the fact that maybe people who would be calling me for a wedding to play wouldn't even know what Donna Lee is. <laughs> So that's an ex interesting experience because you know you reach your goal and you're happy but then just the next goal appears and I think people who are starting out don't understand something that it's not so much about the goals, it's good to have a goal, but it's more about the process and the process itself is about picking yourself up daily and having that courage to for example play a solo or go to a jazz session and to have the courage to do that and you will always just push yourself to do that. This is not going to go away as well. It might get a little easier but there's nobody else who's going to push you to do that. So you really have just to buckle down and go and do it. So that's it for today. I wish you a lot of uh, fun with your own practice plan. Let me know how you practice, what your favorite practice routines are or what how you battle your inner demons. And I see you around. Bye.